Hey y'all, thanks so much for joining me today. Today is the beginning of the 400 subscriber giveaway and I am super, super excited. I know that my subscriber count is a little bit above 400 at this point and those of you that have a channel will know that sometimes the numbers go up and down so I want to make sure that it's actually at 400 and not likely to drop below the 100 mark. Um, before I do the giveaway, but I'm super excited about it and I'm excited to be doing the giveaway now. This giveaway is going to be a lot like the others. It's going to be simple. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time and as I mentioned in the January video, the video that I did about the month of January, but um, if we do get to the 500 mark, I do have some ideas to celebrate that big milestone in a little bit different way. So, um, but this, this giveaway is going to be just like the other giveaways. I did a random number generator and I got a number between 1 and 400. I've got it on this little sticky note. We have the 400 subscriber giveaway envelope the sticky note. I'm going to put it down in the envelope staple it up as we've done before and put it over here on the side table not to be messed with until next week. To enter, pick a number between 1 and 400. Put your number in the comments below. The person closest to that number will win a $50 Amazon e-gift card. I choose an e-gift card for these giveaways because that way, first of all, it's quick. You get your, um, your reward you get your giveaway super quick it's like immediate almost as soon as you as soon as I get it emailed to you and number two is you don't have to give out personal information like your um, address or stuff like that because I know a lot of us feel kind of funny about that kind of stuff on the internet so Pick a number between 1 and 400, put it in the comments below. The person closest to that number will win the $50 Amazon e-gift card. You can go over the number, you can go under the number, so you don't have to worry about any of that. This contest is going to end on February the 25th, that's Monday, at noon Eastern Standard Time. Any guesses past that time will not count, but due to my schedule next week, the winner will not be announced until the end of next week. So the contest is going to end on February 25th at noon, and the winner will be announced probably on Thursday or Friday. Please be sure to read through the comments to make sure your number hasn't already been taken. Um, in some of the previous giveaways, people will guess the same number. I haven't had it come up that that has actually been the winning number, but I would hate if you guess the number and it was, you know, close to the winning number, but you, but somebody else had guessed that number first. So please read through the comments to make sure that your number has not been guessed. The person uh, with the first timestamp on a number is the person who gets that number. And these rules are listed in the description box below. Um, excuse my voice today. I did a podcast this morning and it was super, super long. It was like two hours long, so I don't have much of a voice left right now. I don't normally film on podcast days, um, but my weeks have still been messed up. We have had crazy rain and everybody's schedules have been off and people have been home at different times and I've had some comments recently on my lighting and I know my lighting is not good this window really creates like a weird thing I may have to move everything around I'm I've got some lighting over here now trying to compensate for the lighting over here but the lighting over here is coming from the back and this is coming from the front and it's just it's a mess but I am working on the lighting. I have also had some comments I've mentioned a few times that my hair is curly and um, I have a lot of people that 
want to um, see my hair curly. So because of the rain lately and um, because my whole schedule has just been turned upside down, my hair is actually uh, not straightened right now. Um, so I was just going to pull it down. It's been a couple days since it's been washed. So this isn't like the... Um, this isn't like, I've got a couple clips in my hair. This isn't like, uh, like fresh curly hair, but this is my hair curly. Um, after a couple days of sleeping on it, it's, um, got quite a bit of curl. And I think it's harder probably to see the gray in my hair with it, uh, curly it's harder to see like the line of demarcation and stuff which is what I have been you know really wanted to show in a lot of my gray hair videos but um people did ask so I wanted to show it somebody even asked what kind of curl I had so um you can't really tell and this is kind of straightened right here I did uh do this with a blow dryer it's curlier than than this um if I don't, if I don't do that. But people ask about what kind of curl. Um, right now it's just frizz, uh, pretty much. I didn't realize it would look this frizzy. I probably wouldn't have pulled it down. Um, but I think my curl is probably a 3B um, and got some 3A mixed in with it. I hope I'm even saying that right. I don't know a whole lot about curls. I didn't realize they were classified until pretty pretty recently i will when i start wearing my hair curly which will be in the summertime um i will show it like after it's washed and the actual curl to it uh which will be different than <laughs> i hope than than this but i do wear my hair uh curly in the summertime here due to the humidity and stuff and due to the rain that we've been having and as much running around as I've had to do, there's really not a lot of point in straightening my hair because it goes curly all by itself uh, because of, it, of the natural curl. So anyway, that'll be coming up at some point. Um, more fresh curls and it'll, it'll show better. But it's definitely curly hair. But I want to thank you guys so much for being here, and I hope you'll enter this contest and come back next week to see if you have won. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.